Hello again and welcome to Letter from England, broadcasting for AC Press and the Spanish Evangelical Alliance. Nueva Vida, New Life, an evangelical rehab group in northern Spain, has reopened its centre in the village of Reneva de Pielagos after being closed for almost a year for refurbishment work. The centre first opened 13 years ago to help prisoners and ex-prisoners find their way again. At the re-inauguration ceremony dedicating the refurbished centre, a number of local dignitaries were present from social services and the prison service. After the traditional ribbon cutting and commemorative plaque unveiling, Gabriel Celorio, an evangelical pastor, spoke about the ethos and the motivation behind the centre. He based his thoughts on Psalm 68 verse 6, God settles the solitary in a home, he leads out the prisoners to prosperity and Psalm 102, 19 and 20. He looked down from his holy height. From heaven the Lord looked at the earth to hear the groans of the prisoners to set free those who were doomed to die. He then smeared some oil on the door of the centre, which will operate as a prisoner's shelter, blessing the home in which God's love has been poured out, as he said. He thanked the bank, the Kaiser, which had given a generous donation in 2007 that enabled the refurbishment work to go ahead while the rest of the costs were paid by uh, Nueva Vida Evangelical Church in Santander, the centre's members, and its own resources. As for the uh, government representative present, Carlos von Fria, governor of Dueso Prison, spoke warmly of the work done at Nueva Vida, especially its conviction that prisoners can be rehabilitated and helped back into society, even when the prisoners themselves have uh, little or no resources to do that. Julio Soto, Director of Social Services for the Regional Government of Cantabria, spoke of the excellent working relationship that his department has with Celorio and Nueva Vida, though he admitted that at the outset he was very unsure about developing an institutionalised link with the centre. He said this was due both to the centre's name, which means new life, and to the religious beliefs which dictated how it was run. However, he added that he was won over by the centre's professionalism and said they will continue working together. As for him, it's not so much a case of working with nice people as working on issues of social justice. Two of their joint program, uh, projects, for instance, are a program for women uh, who are victims of sexual exploitation, and there's another for giving accommodation to children with no family to care for them. The centre is comprised of a small flat for the use of families who travel from outside the province to visit prisoners who are on temporary leave, uh, ten rooms, which can sleep a total of 19 people, a kitchen, a lounge, dining room, library, and an office where people can be counselled individually. There are also outdoor areas for recreation. Well, it's one more instance of how the Spanish Evangelical Church uh, remains ahead of the game uh, in uh, this area of uh, social um, help and rehabilitation. Uh, and uh, out of all proportion to its size relative uh, to the population, the Spanish Evangelical Church uh, does a great work uh, with very many needy people and uh, that's something for which we should praise God. Thank you for listening to Letter of England broadcasting each week for AC Press and the Spanish Evangelical Alliance at emission.net. Goodbye for now.